Hi guys, welcome to the Best Soy Latte and me. Um, today's video is not going to be a haul or a tutorial or anything like that. I have been tagged by Jessie Licious. Um, I forgot the rest of her um, username, but I still will link her on the down bar. Um, to do this Filipino tag game number two, I wasn't able to do the first one, but I will do the second one because there are only a few questions and I think it's kind of fun. Like I haven't done a tag video in a long time. So I'm going to be doing this one. So this is called the Filipino tag game number two. Um, I have the questions right here on my laptop. So the first one, number one, do you live in the Philippines? Yes, I live in the Philippines. I've been living here my whole life. Number two, what is the stereotype about Filipinos? Um, I guess one stereotype about Filipinos is that um, we're always late. It's called Filipino time, like what Jesse said. And number two, that, you know, we have crab mentality. Crab mentality. Um, that's when um, people pull down, like, they say we pull people down when they're successful or um, we're not happy when other people are successful, but that is not true. I really don't like that um, saying about us just because it's not true. We're really, 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 really nice people. Like if we you deserve the credit, we will um, admit that you did it all by yourself. We don't plagiarize. You don't do things like that. Um, because if, if we do something on our own, we of course would like to be acknowledged um, and not, you know, be pulled down by other people as well. So I really don't like that crime mentality thing. And then, do you own a karaoke machine? No, I do not. We do not. My family does not own a karaoke machine, but we go to places where um, we do karaoke often. Like, we do it, like, once a week, probably. Um, because we do love to sing. I love to sing, personally. And then, um, sing your favorite Filipino song. Okay, um, I don't have a lot of, I don't really have a super favorite Filipino song, but there are two that I always sing, uh, well, one that I always sing, and the other one that I recently like because of the lyrics, um, the first one is, um, this one, this is the one I'm gonna sing, it's called Torete by Moonstar88, so it goes, um, Sandalina Maari bang pagbigyan Aalis na nga Maari bang hawakan ang iyong mga kamay Sana ay maabot ng langit ang iyong mga Ngiti Sana ay masilip Huwag kang mag-alala Di ko ipipilit sa'yo Kahit na lilipat Ang isip ko'y Dorete sa'yo Ilang gabi Pa lang nang Tayo'y Pinagtagpo Na parang may tumulak Na nalalamig Nanginginig na ako Akala ko nung una May bukas pang ganito Mabuti pang umiwas Pero salamat na rin at natagpo Dorete, dorete, dorete ako Dorete, dorete, dorete sa'yo So that is the song. And then the other one that I like is called Akap by um, Imago, and I'm just going to sing the um, chorus. It goes, 
Am sab sabihin sa akin ang lahat ng lihim mo. Ingatan ko, ibaling sa akin ang problema mo. Kakayanin ko. So those are the two songs that I like, I think. Of the moment, those are the two songs that I can think of. So that's number four. Number five, have you tried balut? I have tried the soup, and I just did one sip of it, and I'm not really a big fan of it. I haven't tried the meat, per se, but I know I, a lot of people love it. My dad loves it, loves it to death. Um, so does that count as yes, like when you sip the soup? I don't know. Okay, next. Um... What's your least favorite thing about being Filipino? Least favorite thing? Um, if it's something that's really shallow, I do not enjoy the heat sometimes in our country. Our country is a very tropical country. Um, I, it's, not, it's not fair to me that right above us is Japan and they get snow and we don't get snow and like this is the coldest is, if ever is Baguio which is up north and they only get like six degrees I think I'm not sure but I don't like the heat um, if it's something that's deeper than that I have to agree with Jesse when she said that she doesn't like the corruption I don't like corruption at all um, that's one and then I also don't like the fact that um, well I, I don't like the fact that there are a lot of incidents in the news that they're they're like it's unjust I don't know how to explain it like in the news um, very recently I have noticed that they've been reporting about um, suicides and everything like that and if you look at the real reason to why there have been suicides or deaths or whatever it's because of bullying and I'm really not a big fan of bullying I don't like it when the underdog um, gets um, bullied or harassed by people. I really hate that. I think everybody just deserves to be treated equally. It's just humanity, I think. So, well, that's not, that's not very Filipino-like. I just wanted to address that because recently that's what's been happening and I don't like it. So, I don't like that, <laughs> obviously. And then, number seven, what is your favorite thing about being Filipino? I love that we're always happy. Um, Filipinos are just fun people, like, um, they're just fun to be with, they're always fun, they're always game for whatever, um, we're, we always have a smile on our face, and, um, I also like that we're, we're very hospitable, um, when people come here, we treat them as family, we offer them whatever we have, they sleep wherever we let, I mean, like, we let them sleep in comfortable beds and not on the floor or whatever, um, I'm not saying that other people do that, like other races do that. That's not true. Um, I just like that we're hospitable. And I like that we're very family oriented. Um, Filipinos, um, they're not, they're not um, taught the way, I think in, in, in America, I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm sure this, this is um, what's really happening there. I'm really, I'm really rattled about this um, tag game. But, but in the States, I know that when you're 18, it's legal to leave the family. But the funny thing about Filipinos is we're so family-oriented. Um, we're very independent, but we're so family-oriented to the point that um, we don't leave the house until we get married. And the parents don't mind. They actually want us to be in the house with them so they don't have the empty nest syndrome. And um, Filipinos, it's fun because we have, like, really, really huge, big families. And I love that about us. And then... Do you eat Goldilocks on a regular basis? No, uh, I don't. I don't eat Goldilocks on a regular basis, but I do have it every now and then. And actually, recently, I have been craving for crema de fruta. I don't know if you know that, but I've been craving for that. Just a little piece. And whenever I look at Goldilocks um, near my school, they never have it. Um, number nine. This is the last one. Are you inseparable from your family? Yes. Um, I love my family. I've always been a family girl. Um, my dad has been, well, she, he's been working in Vietnam, and that really um, was very hard for me for a long time. Like, for the, in the beginning, I was like, really crying, because I cry at even the littlest things. So it's really, really, not super upset, but um, I wasn't 
very happy about it that he was far away, um, not that far away, Asia, but still. He wasn't there when I wanted him to be there physically, so that was really hard for me. So I've, I come, try to come home to my house as much as I can, and we always have family dinners together. And um, for both my mom and my dad's side, all my cousins, all my relatives were very, 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 very close. So that is it. That is the whole Filipino tag game. I hope um, you got to get to know me a little better by this tag game, and I'm tagging every Filipino um, guru or whatever, whoever Filipino is out there on YouTube, go ahead and um, do this video because it's just short, it won't take up a lot of your time, and you'll realize a lot of things about yourself about being Filipino, I like that, and I do, I'll, um, everyone that I know, who else, who else do I know here on YouTube, just everybody, um, go ahead and do this video, and I hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys really, really, really soon. Bye. Mwah.